Thank you, Trailer Told. Let's start now. Hi everyone, and welcome to this exclusive Citadelum gameplay. This is Eva, Abilite Barcelona CEO, and one of the few people involved in the making of this strategy game set in ancient Rome. In summary, what you are about to see today are some of the unique features that make Citadelum such a special game. The three-layer strategy system, the battle system, God's interactions, and some surprises along the way. And we start by showing some of the city building mechanics. What we aim to do is to develop a system that is accessible to anyone. We are giving players the opportunity to build a settlement, gather resources, refine them, and evolve it to a great city worthy of Rome. We design a visual UI, you know, user interface, a menu system which allows anyone to have full control over their buildings, population, economy, or resource management. Whether you are a veteran or a player who has never tried the genre before, it is a simple system but offers enormous depth and immediate access to all aspects of the city. Economy, population, defense, religion, If you're wondering how we make the city evolve, we have two sides. One, taking care of the people that live within. Their needs, be their food, entertainment or employment. The other side is the buildings. Depending on how desirable these buildings are, the higher their level. We can increase how desirable is a building by placing decorative elements or services around the house. While we can decrease it, so lower it, by putting the house besides a production site, such as crop fields. If we zoom out, we can access an overview of the site. And if we continue, we go without transitions to an overview of the map. The map of the territory is where the phases of exploration, trade with other cities and battles take place. But now we want to show you what happens if we keep zooming out. Again, Seamlessly, we arrive at the Pantheon, where the gods of Roman mythology contemplate us. We can interact with them and make them grant us gifts or suffer their punishment. Let's see how these relationships work. When the time comes, our citizens will let us know which temples they need to pray to. Each god has a favor bar that indicates how satisfied they are with us. The way to make them happier and so increase their bar is by celebrating festivals, offerings, and sacrifices. But we must be careful. As classical mythology tells us, these gods are jealous. So, if we do not pay attention to them, they might punish us. Regarding the battles in Citadelum, we wanted the player to have control over the most advanced military force at the time, the Roman legions. And for this, we have come up with a hybrid system between auto battle and real-time strategy. Once we have trained enough soldiers, we can deploy the legion on the map. These legions can move to the territories we have already discovered with the scouts. They can merge and can attack the enemy hordes. Once we declare war, we move to the combat screen. During deployment phase, we select our troops in units and place them on the ground. The formation of the soldiers is very intuitive and is done simply by dragging with the mouse in different directions. The available units are infantry, archers, cavalry and centurions, which add a combat bonus to the soldiers around them. When we press the battle button, our troops move automatically and we can control the camera freely to contemplate these epic confrontations. But at the same time, we can select each unit and give it simple orders in real time, which affect the outcome. Either a change of direction to attack a different target, to retreat or reinforce the position. Citadel will have a historical campaign of 10 levels, which begin shortly after the death of Julius Caesar and includes the following years, the civil war against Marcus Antonius and the appointment of Augustus as emperor. 
In addition, we have the possibility of enjoying a sandbox mode in which to build a gigantic city without limits and battle mode in which to design epic confrontations. Finally, and here comes the kicker, Citadelum will have a complete editor which will allow you to create new settlements, territory maps, missions and complete campaigns. Anyone up for winning the Gallic Wars? Or maybe recreating the Germanic campaign? Our final piece of information regarding Citadelum is that the game is already finished and we're going through a polishing and balancing phase. So the final version will be released October 2024 and the prologue is already available on Steam. We can save our game in the prologue which contains the first two levels of the campaign and continue later in the full game once the game is released.